more women than ever are working in cybersecurity, from the entry-level employees all the way up to the C-suites and the CEOs. So look up, look around. We need to see reflections of ourselves. Action. Welcome to the Cybersecurity Collaboration Center. We have Laura Galante. She is the IC Cyber Executive and the Director of the Cyber Threat Intelligence Integration Center at the Office of the Director of National Intelligence. And we have Dr. Kelly Fletcher, the Principal Deputy, Department of Defense Chief Information Office. We're really excited because you are two phenomenal female leaders, both in the intelligence community as well as the Department of Defense. Can you talk a little bit about your background and how you got into the cybersecurity profession? My PhD is in civil and environmental engineering, and I did some coding. I did some, you know, obviously a lot of work with technology, but then I started at DOD at the Office of the Secretary of Defense. So I've built an expertise in this over the last decade uh, just through having opportunities in the federal government. Cyber felt so new back in the day when I was coming out of school. And my background with a, with a liberal arts and a law degree um, brought with it a sense of, let's look at all the disparate types of data that are out there. And at the time, um, the Department of Defense, along with the private sector, was just trying to get their hands around what are nation states doing in cyberspace. And today you can see how that's all fit together. The thing about DOD CIO is that we have a really, really big scope of activities, both with respect to like total number of humans uh, that you know have in products, use computers, are on our email, on our systems, huge enterprise. It's a lot of synchronization and coordination. But what I'm most passionate about really is um, providing technology to the warfighter, right? That works, that's secure, uh, that they can use today. We're positioned at the Office of Director of National Intelligence, and if you want to think about that, that body, the best way to do it is a little bit of an umbrella across the 18 IC agency. And what we're looking to do is make sure that a coordinated picture is built around cyber threats, cyber intelligence, uh, network defense, and operations. So more often than not, that means picking up the phone 30, 40 times a day to see, are my peers up here at the fort at NSA, are, are folks down at CIA seeing the same type of information? You've got great career backgrounds. Is there any specific, Laura, any specific advice that you would offer to women or people that want to get into the cybersecurity field? Yeah, I think the more you can be a risk taker. You look for your next opportunity thinking, you know, are there pieces here in this next job where I can learn something new? Are there skills that are new or what have you? Um, do I feel like my experience matches that? I love that advice. And actually, what like sort of my talking point on that is be bold, you know? And I think that's something that I've had to remind myself to do. So can you talk a little bit about the importance of having diverse voices in the cybersecurity field? I think as we look to leadership to frankly get the full power of the United States, uh, we need to enable folks from everywhere to be leaders. Uh, and we need folks who are starting out to look to look at their leadership and see people who look like them. Skill sets come from really different life experiences, from different perspectives, yeah. from different parts of the country, right? So setting up that proverbial dinner party for a high-performing team is something that I think is critical for how we approach this mission. Kelly, Laura, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for your time and for your service to the nation. And just thank you for being great female leaders.